Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. And the first question is number the carbon atoms in the ring from the ribose below. And as you see, we basically accept this carbon, do not see any other carbons. But actually it is very easy to name them. Uh, I would use another example. For example, in organic chemistry, we may have a structure like this. Those carbons are not shown here. But we should understand that one carbon atom is here, another is here, another is here, 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 and here. So, and every carbon has, of course, not two bonds, but four. So, we are missing, for example, here three bonds, and we should have here hydrogens. So hydrogens also not shown here. And now as you see all the carbons would have four bonds. So hydrogen here, hydrogen here, and hydrogen here and here. And here we should have three hydrogens. So uh, usually we do not show uh, all this information shown here with white color because for us um, just this broken line would be enough to count number of carbons and uh, because we have six carbons here so this molecule would be hexane so let's uh, count number of carbons in our ribose and here would be our first carbon so carbon number one here we would have second carbon, carbon number two. Here we are going to have third carbon, carbon number three. Fourth carbon is here. And fifth carbon is going to be here. So uh, ribose, in other words, we also can call this pentose because we have five carbons here. So pentose, and here is the formula of the linear uh, form of the molecule, which is C5, H10, O5. So the second question, what is ribose called when the OH group at the position 2 is replaced with just hydrogen? So this is second position, and if instead of OH group here we would have only hydrogen, we would call this deoxyribose so d oxy and d stands for the missing and oxy means oxygen so we miss one oxygen in this ribose and sometimes we can miss uh, on the third carbon also we can miss oxygen so in this case we would call this d deoxyribose the first method to sequence DNA was uh, dedeoxy uh, method when uh, two oxygens uh, was missing and in this case that means that uh, next sugar wouldn't be able to connect to this um, third position of the carbon. So carbon number five would connect to uh, carbon number three of the previous sugar. So in the double-stranded DNA we have basically three elements. One would be nitrogenous base which can be cytosine, uh, guanine, thymine or adenine. We have a sugar which is ribose. In the case of the double-stranded DNA we would have here um, deoxyribose and D stands for the deoxyribose and uh, two sugars would be connected by phosphor groups so by two phosphodiester bonding. So once again sugar that has both large groups we call ribose and uh, ribonucleic acid have this type of sugar and um, DNA would have um, deoxyribose so would miss this oxygen 
at the carbon 2 so type of ribose that miss uh, oxygen at the carbon number 2 so the name of the sugar would be dioxyribose and this is going to be an answer for the second question and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video goodbye